And now 30 at 6, Cecil County in the world. With spring comes all kinds of great activities, including one coming up in Cecil County. We have Sarah Murray and Morgan DeWeese here to tell us about the 25th annual Cecil County Caregiver Conference, and it's called... Share, Share the, the Care. Care. <laughs> Share the Care. What is Share the Care all about? So Share the Care is a uh, coordination of efforts between agencies in Cecil County to bring together caregiver resources for caregivers in the county. Um, we hope to educate lay caregivers, so individuals providing care to their loved ones, as well as professional caregivers. So what we've done is in our care committee um, made up of the Department of Community Services, Emeticist Home Health, Elkton Nursing and Rehab, Aging Life Guides, Union Hospital, um, adult day services, we all come together and we plan this conference. So it's, it's our 25th annual conference to service caregivers in the county. That sounds great because I know caregivers need a lot of, need a lot of help. When is that? It is April 9th. April 9th. Mm -hmm. Okay, at Singerly Fire Hall, right? Yes. And got my interest, lunch will be served. Yes, hot turkey dinner. Yum. <laughs> Yum. I know it's not easy being a caregiver. I, I met a friend of mine, an old colleague of mine in the store the other day who said she was had a list, she was buying stuff, and she said her husband had been laid up for several years, and she has to do, quote, unquote, everything. Mm -hmm. So caregivers need some help. What kind of help is going to be made available to caregivers? I guess they they may have someone that need to get someone to watch their loved one when they go to the conference. Yes, yeah, so there actually is respite care provided for individuals who need that. Um, through our partnership with um, Adult Services at Union Hospital, if they need to have somebody take care of their loved one during the conference, we can coordinate that for them as well. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's not a drawback. Right. And I know they'll be getting a lot of information and support. And are there support groups for caregivers? Yes, yeah, so I can speak. Um, I work for the Cecil County Department of Community Services. Morgan is my um, supervisor in the Aging and Disability Resource Center, but I work specifically for the Family Caregiver Support Program. So um, my job in our agency is to be able to provide support for Cecil County caregivers, and um, I can do that kind of advocacy and be able to refer. We have right now a big support group with Union Hospital's Adult Day Care Program, right. and we are also looking at expanding our caregiver program to start a new support group, so look out for more information for that for our Cecil County caregivers. And the Adult Day Care Program is over by Redner's now, right? Yes. It's mm -hmm. moved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks really big and nice. It is really nice inside. The services are phenomenal. It's it's a good program. Okay, so let's walk us through the day. Mm -hmm. Starts at 8.30 on April 9th at Singerly Fire Hall. If you're a family caregiver, mm -hmm. it's free, right? It it's is. free of charge. Including the lunch. Yes. And lunch, and there mm -hmm. are giveaways, so we have door prizes, so our vendors donate a door prize to provide kind of like um, some self-care for the caregivers, so you have a chance of winning prizes. We have, I'm hoping to have over 40 vendors, um, so there's giveaways there, so there's information, there's services. It's really a very good event. That sounds great. I'm just looking, there's sure. Miss Yolanda Wright from the Alzheimer Association. She's going to talk about sensory changes. Yes. That's good. I mean, the Alzheimer's creeps up on people, correct? Yes. And, and the, uh, the idea with that particular um, training is the small changes that a person goes through when they're experiencing Alzheimer's that maybe they may not be able to um, acknowledge or realize, but maybe a loved one does. You know, I think that the kind of quintessential joke is like you put your keys in the fridge, which it is a joke, but it is a sign of something that could be going on. So the idea being with this particular training that we're educating people on what are things to look for, what are things to kind of catalog, and when you need to have your family physician brought in right right well, that's important stuff because you if you if something goes unnoticed you can't address it right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jean Moran community member volunteer is going to talk about walking in my shoes what's that about 
So Jean Moran is a lay caregiver. She's been a caregiver in the community for a very, for a very long time. Um, I think she's going to be somebody that a lot of our family caregivers are going to be able to relate to. She's going to be somebody that's experiencing a lot of the challenges that come along with caring for your loved one day in and day out. She's going to be able to kind of share those experiences. So I think people are going to be able to not only relate to her, but also look to her for guidance. So she's going to be able to kind of give some guidance, talk about the hardships that kind of go along in right. that journey and um, I she'll, she's always available for questioning afterwards too I think a good thing is all of our all of our uh, speakers at this event are always great at following up as well that sounds great one more that I noticed mm -hmm. uh, Miss Denise Barton Schuler yes assistive technology specialist with the Maryland TAP or technology assistance program yes. so um, I've seen Denise speak several times um, she is a phenomenal speaker she has an interest and a desire to educate people on assistive technology so she likes to do a little quiz about what is assistive technology do you know what that is she brings technology with her so she'll have her smartphone she'll talk about some apps that can help caregivers she'll talk about cheap ways of, of kind of working around um, any adaptations that need to be done um, she She's a very dynamic speaker, and she also will talk about the services that a person may be eligible for as well. So it's not just here are some options, it's here are some options and here are some ways to pay for those options. And maybe here are some options you never even considered or exactly. heard Exactly, yes. And, and she has some, like I said, some cheap tricks on how to do those things. You know, go to Lowe's for this instead of paying markup through another company. Well, that sounds great. $15 for professionals. Who would fall under the category of a professional? Um, anyone that's currently working as a caregiver. Basically, if you are um, working for a home health agency, if you are employed by the county or the state or the hospital system, anyone who is, is not providing direct care to their loved ones. Well, chances are if you work in that capacity, your employer might want to invest a little bit in helping you upgrade your skills. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That sounds awesome. Uh, April 9th, mm -hmm. Singerly Fire Hall, 8.30 to 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. What did we miss? Uh, anything? So one thing I would definitely want to mention that is if you'd like to find all of this information, you can go to our new Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash Cecil Care, and that's care with an extra A. <laughs> that's C-A-A-R-E. Yes. yes. Clever. And there's one more thing I did also want to mention. We are doing a special training during all of this. Jonathan from Cecil Transit, who was one of our sister agencies, the Department of Community yes. Services, he'll be there. We'll have one of the Cecil Transit buses available for people to go out see the wheelchair lift and and kind of get a little bit of education we also can schedule travel training so mm -hmm. that's something that people don't realize in the community um, sometimes if a person's uncomfortable or unfamiliar with how to utilize public transportation Cecil Transit can provide training on how to do that yes and we see their see their vehicles all over the place they yeah. are they are expanding yes I mean they come down the back roads and everything <laughs> they, we are they are trying to service every resident in Cecil County yes. that's awesome yeah that's awesome and uh, uh, one more thing I noticed. Yep. Check the Cecil County website for more information. Yep, so, so yeah. that's where we have um, the link to directly register is on the okay, Cecil County website. Um, and also, if you do go to the Facebook page, you can register through Facebook as mm -hmm. well. Well, it sounds like a winner to me. You don't want to miss it, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.